pretty good. Yeah, it's very robotic. Welcome to One Frame Off. Hey. My name is Rose, and you're all going to die. <laughs> I'm Brody. <laughs> and I'm Jess. And don't forget, guys, the cake's a fucking lie. It has nothing to do with today's episode. The cake I just is a really lie. wanted to do it. Uh, they made it. The, a bunch of scientists came together to make the biggest idiot alive. <laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> it is a pretty solid Gladys, and actually, if Wait, you did it, can I can I can, can I say it? Uh, can can you say what the dog doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can do it if you want, but okay, it won't be on. as good. What the dog? Doing. <laughs> oh, Lord. What the dog doing? What's what that from? The dog's doing. There's, there's like a vine where it's like everyone's trying to get like some some gum from a guy, and then someone has a dog in there, and it's like, what the dog doing? I am always curious as to what dogs are doing, though. I mean, it's, it's just, just such, such a good meme because we all have dogs. I get, there's so many times I see Pumpkin just like laying on her back or humping a blanket, and I'm just like, what the dog doing? Uh, Gertie will literally just be like standing on the other side of the room at night, and I will literally just look like, "Hey, what are you doing? Like, why are you over there?" Get up for me anymore. Mm. Such an old man. He's done with it. You know exactly what he's doing. He's he's like fucking asleep. I do want to get a furbo though. Furbo. Yeah, it's a um, a camera and treat dispensing system that you can access through your phone. To you mean like a Furby? Yeah, no, no. It like will it'll give you a notification on your phone when your dog moves or makes makes a noise. I really just want to see what Gertrude's doing when I'm not around. I mean, like I'm like ninety percent sure it's sleeping. No, it's sleeping and then hopping on furniture. She's not supposed to. Yeah, dogs and pets in general are far more boring than you think they are. Go and do like a one hour study because I had to do this for my anthropology courses. Wait, so you studied dogs in anthropology too? No, I did. Oh. I picked <laughs> polar bears. And the polar cool. bear I picked, I got really lucky because he had a very active day that day. Did he have a cute name? No, I don't remember. It was like from some national zoo. Okay. What was his name? I don't remember because oh. it was like two well, years we, ago. What we would shall, you name the polar we bear? Shall call you had a little polar bear Edwin. Edwin. You study. Edwin, do we want to stick with Edwin? It's been Paul. said. Paul? Paul the polar bear? Paul, um, Paul Edwin bear. Paul the polar bear. I like the alliteration. Bear. Oh my god, hold on. Ed... <laughs> Jess, what was it? Edwin? Edwin Paul the polar bear. Edwin Paul the polar bear. I like it. E-P-T-P. Say it in a French bitches. accent. I cannot. I can say it in a southern <laughs> accent. But that's no, like, I, that's... I studied <laughs> Brody's face. Sir Edwin Paul the polar bear. Sir Edwin Paul the polar bear. Met he the done, best pig camp high this side Mississippi. Sit in a pool of his own piss. <laughs> I don't but know. No, he um he was a very active polar bear, and the assignment was pick an animal from just to study for an hour or two. I would have picked Meerkat. A lot mm. of people pick their pets because they're like, oh, they're really active. Our pets are really interesting, and they watch them mm-hmm. for like an hour. We actually watched their animal. You can't interact with the animal. You can't disturb it. It has to be more like quote unquote natural. Everyone who's done the assignment actually kind of knows what I'm talking about. Dude, if I watched Gertrude for an hour and be like, yeah, she just stared at me and sat on my lap. I can't not interact with her if I'm in the room. She's a lap dog. She's a chihuahua. They give you no choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So my pull, the She polar was bear, initiating play all day by dropping her toys off the couch and staring at me. <laughs> the polar bear I studied, he, um, he would wander off screen, but there was this fucking <laughs> bird who stayed there for... <laughs> Like thirty minutes. Did you? So I you studied really the bird know, instead. I yeah, know, I was just gonna say that. Did you just study, switch? So your if your study animal isn't moving or isn't doing something, so you have to record something every minute or every other minute mm-hmm. to say, oh, the polar bear moved at this time mark, or oh, it did this. Oh, that sounds if terrible. If the <laughs> animal moved out of your observation range or wasn't doing anything. You could write about the environment. So I wrote about that fucking bird for a half hour. Have you guys what was played the, bird's name? the um or watched Ronan the game the Raven. Rooms play? Ronan the Raven. Ronan the Raven and Paul Edwin the Polar Bear. Edwin Two best Paul. friends Edwin, solving mysteries. Edwin Paul the Polar Bear? Paul it Edwin. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Speaking of monitoring bears through a camera mm-hmm. and also having a horror <laughs> element to it. <laughs> what, uh, how's, how's FNAF going for you? Uh, so I went back and um, so I watched mark play the whole way through i'm about halfway through 
I got to a point where I'm in the security office. I restarted the game, by the way. Oh, Jesus Christ. Because <laughs> I so you really like it. I, no, I missed items. And That's I got fine. locked out of a, a location. And you can't go back to this location. Once you get mm. kicked out of it, you can't go back. Is it an important item or just something you want for um, 100%? Want. Uh, Is it 100%. lore? No, it wasn't. Oh, it's not lore. It's just like a random Because I know you love upgrade. lore. I do love lore. No, oh, an upgrade? Uh, I kind of get an, that. It mm-hmm. was an upgrade. It's an optional upgrade. I have to say that's a really it. major design flaw in the game that they make it so you can't go back. But you can still and go through the game without it, right? You can. Okay, so it's so more like, like rewarding than anything. I, I stopped them like, God damn it, I can't go back to this location. I'm restarting the whole fucking thing. So I got Just to... Just reboot everything. I did. I'm dead serious. I rebooted it. And, um... Unfortunately, no, I've hit one of the famous glitches. I can't get back. I can't hide in Freddy's gut because of the mission I'm currently on after rebooting it and getting the missed item, the upgrade. I'm locked out of Freddy, so I can't use him as a hiding spot. He can't enter the location that I'm can, can I suggest the something that I do with newer games that um, are all, because all new games are buggy now. It's mm-hmm. just the world that we live in. Um, I create multiple saves that I do not overwrite so I can hop I back and forth for one. glitches. Yeah, I so I would say going forward, make sure that you have different saves and name them so you know where you are. That in case, that way, in case, like, God forbid, it's a game-breaking glitch or it's like, oh, why there's an item back there, I need to go back. So you don't have to do a full restart. That would be nice, except on the save that I have, I don't have the item upgrade, so I'd have to restart that one. No, I'm just saying, like, and, as you go forward, just do that. Because I'm a huge a uh, Bethesda lady. And, uh, I was about these to are, say, oh, Bethesda. Yeah, these, are, these are just tips and tricks you pick up from being in love with Bethesda games. Like, everyone <laughs> has, like, had that moment playing Skyrim where it's like, I'm bored. Start a little save slot. Start killing everybody. Yeah. No, the or yeah, or like you like you're gonna pickpocket somebody, but you don't know if it's gonna work or not. Or exactly. you want to? Oh my god! Just quick save before you do bad you mean, shit. Like, yeah. When I accidentally sold that chick's fucking axe and then she chased me out of town. I don't know what you did. No, thing? you didn't do anything. I think you I accidentally know. robbed the general store in that first town before you get to White Run. Run, run in between, like it's literally. The town right before Bleak Falls Barrow. I can't remember the name. I don't know what I did, but I got chased out of I that town. I literally used to just sit around with this girl at work, and we would just try to um, sit with each other and uh, describe the sky or match to each map to each other and fill in all the blanks. Yeah, no, that's... We passed very long days very quickly like that. Yeah. It <laughs> yeah, was great. Like, no, we had hey, a great conversation. Hey, let's talk about our favorite uh, uh, ways to walk around the map. Where's your favorite house? Brody, where's your favorite house in Skyrim? Uh, 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 you know, I always just like did like the college and winter hold and used that as my house because it was big. There was cool stuff there. There was a big old garden. All right, guys. I like the house in Markarth is my favorite. Markarth. Markarth is slept on entirely is the best fucking city. Markarth is the big stony village. Yeah. Right. With the mine. Uh, oh, no. With the mine and the prison that you get um, imprisoned in and have to escape. But yeah, no. I... He's like, no. Skyrim nothing. is weird. Skyrim's wonderful. It has wonderful. dragons and robots and, and trolls giant spiders and giant spiders. Friends to kill. Yeah, I guess they are technically they're magic robots though. Like they're kept alive with magic. Magic robots. My bad. Yeah, the Dwemer robots. Mm-hmm. Wait, there are robots. Yeah, there are robots made by like uh, autonom- Hill elves. automatons. Oh, automatons. Okay, I got you. I got but you. But what's the difference between an automaton and a robot, other than just sophistication? I don't know. They're pretty sophisticated, I'd say. Hmm. What are we drinking? Oh, I'm a little out of character today. I'm having a uh, Tito's and cranberry. Very nice. Very it simple. is nice. It's very There's refreshing. I also that. put some. Yeah. Yeah, it's Tito's and cranberry. Yeah, no, it's a Tito's. It's, and cranberry. it's like you're trying to come up with a new yeah, name for PB&J. Yeah, I want PB&J. everyone to know that I drink Tito's <laughs> with some lemon juice in it because I'm out of lime. Nice. I've got a noble cider this time around. Noble is local to Asheville, guys. That's so a North Carolina cider this time. Yeah. Uh... I don't have my uh, artifacts. They're not excited about it. Uh, I mean, it's a great cider. It really is. Noble is pretty decent. but um, Pretty decent? It's amazing. Not it's compared company. to artifacts. You know what you like. I know what I like. Brody, That's a good thing. 
Speaking of knowing what you, we like, you. I yeah, I went hard into today's theme. Uh, for my drink, it is. It's a. It's an enhanced gin and tonic. The gin, of course, being Cardinal G- Spice Gin from. Um, uh, I forget. Is it so in Raleigh? It's made in North Carolina. It's yeah. made in North it's Carolina. It's a local Raleigh. distillery that makes a spiced gin. The gin and tonic with that, splash of cranberry, and half an ounce of Jaeger. And I call it, according to today's theme, Aaron Jaeger. <laughs> it's the official Aaron Jaeger cocktail, guys. You think you really like it to begin with, and then... <laughs> and then it gets sour and bitter, oh, honestly. Yeah. Go down. The end. I'm excited, because yeah. I know nothing about Attack on Titan. So I guess we kind of spoiled it, but what are we talking about today, guys? And what is going to happen soon, Brody? Attack on Titan, and assuming that we got our days correct, this the day that this comes out will also be the day where the final part of season four comes. Mm-hmm. If only they would release it all at once. I know they're not going to. Oh my god, I would just do nothing until it's done. Uh, yeah, I would have to cancel some plans because I wouldn't go anywhere. That's the thing that like so bugs me about anime like this, where it's like everything about it is about the real mystery of it all just while like, watching that thing like at least good anime yeah uh, good anime yeah that doesn't have any filler yeah it's all about the yeah. constant mystery ah, you know what actually attack on titan in general very very little to none at all filler but they don't really fuck around every episode is just like ending on the biggest cliffhanger possible yeah. and then watching that on a weekly basis for i guess when did the first episode come out it must have been like 20... i watched it later 2015 that was about I six or say. seven years ago when i think it, it was a while and just Aaron like rose is gonna look it up right now just the us. fact that we've spent like so much time waiting for this show no i know and the only thing that i can think of that is any shape or form more similar like for those of you that don't watch attack on titan this is like the game of thrones last season this is the anime game of thrones y- yeah actually yes that's a really solid comparison 2013 2013 holy 2013. shit so like nine years first episode air date april 7th 2013 Yikes. And me and Brody are obviously you can tell we haven't read any of the manga because if we had we'd know what would happen. But yeah. I mean, we're staying away from it. We're and I actually... only primarily talking about the show. I know that there's already a ending written, but we're only I'm avoiding all spoilers and not looking to do it uh even though I would be interested once the show ends looking to read it. I some also of just feel manga. like it would hit way better if I watched it animated. As well opposed to yeah, it. well we're really like visual people. Exactly. Not that books, not that manga isn't visual, but not that I, I hate books and I'm allergic to them, and I <laughs> just don't. Yeah, Bertie's trust them. allergic to books, but that's all he got for Christmas from us. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Which, if you want to see what those books look like in person, you should follow us on Instagram. Hey, oh, we post sometimes. We don't post that often, but we're trying to get better about it. <clears throat> Sorry. Trying. Trying, definitely. Yeah. But. Let's just go back in time. It's 2013, and suddenly everyone's talking about this brand new anime where shit gets real oh, real I, fast. You know, can I ask you, um, what is it? Let's talk about first two episodes. First I think, two episodes, okay. What was it for you that just blew you away about it? Because it is a lot different than a lot of other anime out there of the same genre. Even though I kind of feel like it's a genre of its own, if you want to get down to specificities. but I would say, like... First and foremost, I'm a sucker for good design. This looked way different from any other like real like traditional shonen series I was seeing, both in like animation style and just like the general like world they made. I think Rose even pointed out that well, um, wanna... oh, sorry. there's like a thousand year old village that it's a German village. I was just trying to look up the name. I don't remember it, but it's basically made. It's a walled medieval. Ooh, I think a medieval village. Mm-hmm. Medieval would match the architecture that is present in the slightly. But yeah, it's actually um, and different districts kind of look a little different, but it's very Tudor. So German, yes. Yeah, German, Anglo, whatever you want to call it, and design wise, yeah, killer fucking soundtrack. This is the nerdiest I've been. Was I would play that. I would play, like, the I battle just, themes uh, in the gym, man. and I would pump so much fucking iron. Hey, man, good for you. I felt like a monster. It was good. No, I got swole. getting stronger is always good. Mm-hmm. Um, I think for me, very similar stuff. The animation style. And for those of you that haven't seen it, um, unlike a lot of other animes, every character, not necessarily the background art, but all the characters are very thickly lined in a black outline, which yeah. looks 
which is such a stark contrast to the very realistic sky, which to me just blew me out of the water immediately. And and, and me in general is always yeah. very beautiful. But Seeing a very realistic sky. The sky. And is, also like a very... Just seeing the Colossal Titan for the first time, I think, was like, I feel very uncomfortable and I kind of like it. Yeah, you know? it, 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 it's it's a very tangible horror for mm-hmm. something so unrealistic. And I think that that's what people really latched on to early on when like the whole perception of the show was we're fighting against this force. It felt very much like And, and you don't know anything about it and you don't really learn anything about it yeah. up until the very end almost. All you really know going in is uh, there is... So basically, from what we understand, humanity has been completely wiped out because of the presence of the monsters known as Titans. Titans. Which are giant... Humanoid. Human, humanoid. They... They're giant humans. They don't really have genitalia, and no. they're, they don't have a bowel system. They look very they don't, goofy. They don't, from what I've learned from just, like, other... So I think they actually do mention it in the show. They don't have intestines or anything. They literally eat humans and then just immediately regurgitate them. Yeah, they, they, they don't really eat people I, for any nourishment. I think it's, like, a side note mentioned. Mm-hmm. Um, what I also want to bring up was something that I did notice uh, watching the first few episodes, which I can still... You know, uh, not really put into words how I felt, but I can still feel the feeling, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. But um, this is the one of the best animes that I've seen that uh, draws horses well. <laughs> <laughs> horses are really well drawn in this. <laughs> in a lot of other animes, they look super goofy. Yeah. <laughs> they really do. They, well, they, they usually just try to, like, because, like, the way I always talk about anime and, like, art style is, like, drawing eyes. And they got, like... Horse eyes are very specific, I think. They're, they, I always, um, I used to ride horses, had a horse. So it's like, you've never seen a more set of soulful eyes. So you have to do horse mm-hmm. eyes justice because they are so beautiful. At least to me. I, I don't know. Maybe to someone else, they look like demon spawn. But to me, horses <laughs> have the most beautiful eyes. Demon horse spawn. Yeah, which we can bring it back to Skyrim and talk about Shadow Mirror, but we're not going to. <laughs> um, let's keep going. <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's the idea. All of humanity has been wiped out because of Titans, except for... The last human race of uh, people who are living inside of a uh, village, town, whatever you want to call it, uh, protected by multiple fi- walled cities. With multiple a giant walled wall. cities, fifty meters tall walls. They're huge. They're huge. Until one day, a sixty meter titan comes, and everyone's like, "Ah, shit." Uh, there hadn't Wait, been on. a Titan attack, I think, in 20 or 30 years. So yeah. our protagonist in the show are young children at the beginning of the show. Not young. They're they're tween aged. Tween's good. I want to say like eleven or something. I think it's a tween. Tweens. That's they, tween for me. You're in between. But you're you know being a kid and a teenager. Hold on. Thirteen is teen. I, I found the city. I'm not gonna pr- try to pronounce the um, name of the mm-hmm. city, but <laughs> hold on. This takes president. They're sending children out to fight this fucking titan. Now I'm no. I, I'm I'm no stranger to sending kids well. out to war. Because Percy Jackson does it all the fucking time. Well, well they we gotta America, use whatever also. soldier they have. <laughs> yeah, but like, they're not. So kids. they're they're no. There's a in the first so, season. There's a train. They're in training for a while. Yeah, they're in training. But having said that, five years also ish. they um our protagonist yeah um Aaron Mikasa and Armin mm-hmm. um they're all prodigies in their own right so they are extremely talented but they're also members of the scouts which has a notoriously low amount of people that volunteer to go into because they're the ones that explore the forest and deal with the titans right after after the event of so having the 60 what meter they can. So have, do you I'm you can to finish brody i'm sorry so after having the colossal titan kind of bash down the wall and sort of cause chaos with more titans coming in uh aaron is aaron's mother is quickly eaten and that's sort of like oh my god yeah by titans the father is just like <laughs> father left he's gone for a little while um can we jump so we don't have to recap this one but brody can you tell me exactly which titan eats aaron's mother oh the big smiley blonde one yeah that's actually uh what is his name krishna uh grisha the father yeah that's actually grisha's wife from Ex-wife, marley i guess yeah I that got turned into a titan what? Yeah, that's who eats Aaron's mother. It all comes full circle. It, I, I'll I, tell just, you I just said let's mention that now so we don't have to circle back. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to leave the city? 
To do like, what? what? What's the point? What's the point of leaving? So we week? did talk about this in yeah, our episode. If you have no, I'm just for viewers. If you haven't listened to it, um, it's our what? What if world? You what know, world would I? Would you not want to live in? This yeah. was my choice. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and hypothetically, if uh, the armored titan, the colossal titan, and the armored titan never attacked parody, there would be no downside to living there, in my opinion. Other than just. Well, in a tyrannical general. secret council government. But I mean, like, what's how is that any different than what's going on right now? Uh, I, I think oh, things will be just... fine. <laughs> but to answer your question, the point of the scouts wanting to leave the city is they idealize, like, the idea of... The ocean. The ocean, exploring the world instead of just living in behind walls. They want to, like, find new shelters for humanity so that way they can sort of prosper. Armin and Aaron bond at a young age over their, um, well, that they like to sit and read together, but also, like Brody mentioned, yeah. uh, how they're, like, just true little explorers at heart. Yeah, Armin found they a book more. at a young age where it's like, oh, my God, and there's a lake that covers the world, and there's an, and there's a sea of, la- of lava and worlds of ice. Okay. So <laughs> the big motivation for Aaron is that he wants to get revenge on all the Titans because he... Yeah. His mom. His mom got eight, and now he's all like, I want revenge. I'm going to become a sociopath and try and kill everyone. Rose. Mm. That's the Colossal Titan. What the fuck? He big. See how he's... I I pulled up a picture of the Colossal Titan eye level with the scouts on the wall. And um, for those of you that watch, you know they have that cannon system where they have tracks and they can maneuver it around. That's smart. Well, they do the best with what they have. And the Omni Gear is truly... um, ahead of its time oh yeah and the omni gear so oh om- yeah we didn't mention the omni gear it's the coolest fucking so thing. as they're like learning to be soldiers and shit they are given the omni gear which is omni maneuverable like it's like half jetpack half spider-man and you have swords yes so you're just like rocket propelled zipping around town and the idea is that you need to get to the titans one weak spot which is the, the nape of the neck. The nape of the neck, right directly back there. You slice that, they're dead so. Oh, okay. So they, they just carry these packs on them? Yeah. It looks very steampunk Spider-Man-ish. Okay. No, just brought up a picture of it. Okay, okay. But then... No, and like, honestly, like, I just really quickly, and I wish we did this before we started... Oh, and yeah. Brody, if you want to cut this out, you can, but I am going to pull up a it. Levi clip of him taking out Ooh, uh, yes. the, or attacking the beast titan cause big monkey wait yeah. what's the fucking beast titan oh it's, it's exactly what okay. it sounds like you ask so many questions and i'm just like the most important thing in the show and we're here for it no and we're here for it brody we're here for it we're here for it not not i guess know. okay i guess i should have rephrased i just want to show you how badass levi is <laughs> levi's pretty dope I am a no, but he can kill any titan he wants. If to. Levi was a titan, titan, it would be game over. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there wouldn't be any. More no, shows. there wouldn't be a show. Scout that can turn into, is that the blonde one? Oh, are you talking about Reiner or someone else? Not Reiner, uh, the other character, because he has like titan blood. I don't know is that if not you're. Levi? Levi's not that guy. No, okay. I don't know if you're. I don't know if I'm getting the point you're trying to make. No, it, there is a scout or somebody who lives in the city doesn't know that they are a titan and can transform oh. into a titan. Oh, that's, that's Aaron. Their, that's Aaron, yeah. That's Aaron. So the bit, so the big, okay. uh, so one, another big thing that happens in season one after titans come back, Aaron gets eaten and then suddenly is like, hey, I just fucking turned into this giant titan. What the fuck? Is that the beast titan? That's the beast titan. Bruh. He's ugly as hell. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, fun fact, that's um, Aaron's half-brother. What? I'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's there, there's that Levi, Aaron? my oh, fave. No, Levi? Aaron's uh, incapacitated at this moment. I okay. That's, that's Levi. Levi. That's him with the Omni gear, just curly cueing up Beast Titan's arm. Okay. We're watching another clip. Just because Jess wanted to No, show this him. is what I wanted to show you. Like, yeah. this is how much of a Beast Titan was notoriously almost impossible to kill. And he's super smart. He's like the ringleader of the other Titans from mm-hmm. Marley to come to Paris. He is a genius. Oh, yeah. He's like going for it. Ooh, Do you see what I mean, angles. though, Rose, about the animation style and how the Omni Girl works? Yeah, no, the animation, I never said the animation wasn't great. I mean, it's beautiful and awesome. Just. Not oh, no, I just wanted to show you. Yeah. 
Or do you remember when you saw this? You saw this for the first time. Yeah. <laughs> <It's like laughs> and Brody's face is that like, like a jet, that is like a jetpack. Yeah. Yeah. And look at him just going ham on the nape. Ham on the nape. So are they human? Or do like is it? I'll. I can get back to the what I was saying earlier. Yeah. So they're kind of. So Levi's the ultimate badass. So Aaron learns that he can turn into a titan. I think okay. titan shifter is the word that kind of gets thrown around. Okay. And it's sort of like he's piloting a giant titan in the nape of the neck. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's why you have to go for Yeah, the think of it like a Gundam, except made of well, a body. not necessarily why they have to go for the nape of the neck, because most titans in this world are not being piloted by humans. Your they general humans Dumbo titan, titan. Yeah. Okay. is just like not... There's no human underneath there, or at but, least one that's like melted into it. Are okay. we going to touch on a little bit that um, touch on whatever you want that Aaron was given the be, um, the attack oh, right. Titans powers by his father? Yes, like the 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 very same day that he saves Mikasa from well getting raped and killed. Yeah. Uh, I think they take her back to his parents' house or whatever, or at that same place, and he goes in the woods with his dad, and his dad um, uh, injects him with the serum and then lets Aaron eat him. Well, here's let's back back up a little bit. Hold so on, time out. he <laughs> eats his dad. Okay, let me explain exactly how. <laughs> Sorry, this works. Brody, I'm mulling things. I just so, want, like to me these are important plots. So points. your everyday Titan gets turned from uh, Eldian. Okay. We talked a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, Eldians being the race who are sort of from Titans. Yes. They are human but can turn into Titans. And if you inject a certain serum into them, they turn into your standard dumb Titan. The one okay. that is just out here eating people. Yeah. Mind of like a no dumb thoughts. animal yeah. kind of. You do that. But if you do that and eat someone who is a Titan shifter, so to speak, you gain their powers memories and ability to turn into that particular titan whatever their special titan may be grisha was grisha was a titan known as the attack titan or the founding titan but here's the well well he gets both here's the thing though a part of emir's curse after you get the titan you have a 13 year term before you die yes grisha's time was up and he's just like ah shit i gotta give this my son yeah my son's gotta finish what i started because his other son, sure, shit wasn't going to do it. Um, no. A revolution. Re- what? What, what was the question he again? Gonna start? I said a revolution. Was he going to st- a revolution? Yeah, yeah, a revolution. So I... I'm just going to fast forward. We find out later that Reiner and Bertold were the attack and armor titan who originally fucked the city no, up. They're the colossal and armor titan. What did I say? Uh, I think it's attack I... and armor. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Colossal Bertold being the colossal titan. Reiner being the armored titan. And we also found out that Annie was the female titan, but she sort of like put herself in a big crystal so that way they couldn't really interrogate her. And she's still in that crystal to this episode. Or, Smart. Yeah. So um, I also just want to mention this as well. You um, crystal for all... Yeah, they yeah, can. there's the like whole... a hardening ability. That you have to uh. learn, but they all can do it. Um, other women can become titans too, but this is the only female form titan. So I would even, I would I would wager to say even if a male titan ate the female titan, uh, would you say Annie, they would still get the female titan form because there's other females who turn into titans that do not have a female figure. I never really thought about it that much. I just figured like this is the first one that actually looks like it has a gender, and it's got boobies and a butt. So well, no, well because you know um, how anime the, loves boobies. The jaw yeah, titan really. was female. Yeah, um, Historia's I, I can't remember her name. Uh, Card Titan. Is yeah, Card Titan's a female. Operated by female. And the Warhammer Titan is a female, and they do not present. I females. think it just needs a better name. The, the female Titan. I, I I just I I think that's what it is. Uh, please let us know if we're wrong. I'm not going to research I, it. Yeah, I'm sure someone who's actually read the manga knows. It actually, it can help you. Oh well, well actually, me all day. I love to learn stuff. Oh yeah, we 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 openly accept fact checkers. Yeah, absolutely. Because we're just out here spouting nonsense, drinking, and talking about okay. animes. So we found out that other people within, like, there are like actual traders who are working for some other folks who we don't know about yet. Oh. TBD. Gertie just gave Jess a big old kiss. Mm-hmm. She's very cute little girl today. <laughs> Gertie, you're not a Titan, are you? 
Oh my gosh, can you imagine? No, she's actually. Got her harness I on. think she's like so even cute. if even if Gertie was a Titan, she'd still be Other small. Animals. She would turn into normal size. Well, there's a Beast Titan. Aside from the Beast Titan. Are there then there aren't really titans? there are no dog titans, but that would be cute. Cat? Cat Titan? No cat titans. That would be horrifying. Cat just Titans. Just big monkey. Just the big ass monkey. Just big monkey. Here's the first cute little detail that shows that these people are living in an isolated society and everyone else knows everything about them. Everyone refers to the Beast Titan as the Beast Titan mm-hmm. because they've never seen a monkey. And then we hear Reiner call it a monkey and it's just like, what's a monkey? And he's just like, ah. Uh... That's a great uh, example for Rose and other people out there that aren't familiar. Yeah. Um, and then basically their whole objective now is to find out what's in Aaron's father, Grisha. What's in his basement. Uh, side note, guys, and I'm just going to call it what it is. You're going to hear me hit hit my tobacco vape a lot today because we just ate a ton of pasta before we recorded. Oh, yeah. And I'm just, just side note, that's Helps what it is. I like, cannot help myself at this point. I ate so much pasta. Yeah, if you ever hear like a like a funny whistly noise. <laughs> it's me, and I'm sorry, it's but not I'm your not car sorry. Being, <laughs> it's not your car. It's not an audio glitch. It's just hitting a vape. Yeah, I'm just hitting a vape. Sorry, Mom. Sorry, Dad. Oh, Whatever. Drink responsibly. We do not, I don't know, uh, promote the use of tobacco products. Um, you want to know what? I, I, I'm I going to tell you not to, but you do you. <laughs> yeah. It was a slippery slope for me, and I finally got off actual cigarettes, and uh, now I just do a vape, and hopefully I will quit that one day, but we're not there yet. Yeah. All right. Let's get back to the All oh, right. <laughs> no, no, down with my sure. PSA. Back to the show. <laughs> So, right, so they nobody knows what the fuck a monkey is, and when they see <laughs> Brody, they can you see, please clip that? <laughs> what the what fuck is a monkey? <laughs> what the fuck is a monkey? And then just nobody knows what a fucking monkey is. <laughs> but basically, nobody knows not what a person. A monkey is. What is a monkey? What the monkey doing? Probably flinging at shit at people. <laughs> I mean, he does do yeah, something he like does. that. <laughs> Oh, that's why he's so good at throwing. That's funny. I never thought about that. Oh, yeah, that. so the big thing about the Beast Titan is that he's really good at baseball. Bruh. I'm not making that up. Bruh. Like, he throws giant rocks at people and says, ha-ha, a perfect game. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? Yeah, no, like, I am not making this shit up. Uh, I, There's a giant monkey who uh, plays baseball Trying to take over the world. Here's what it's really like is he picks up rocks and crushes them in his hands and they become like little bullets and then he throws them at hyper speeds at humans. Scattershot. Yeah, thank you, Brody. That's exactly It's like like a scattershot shotgun of sorts. So there's a big fight in season three between all the people in the scouts versus the Colossal, the armor, and Big Monkey Titan. Are we going to at least announce to everybody... That we're not going to talk a ton about season two. Season two is kind of a. It's There's some good. It's kind of a flyover building, season. But in terms of like where we are now in the plot, I I I, I mean, you should watch it. But I mean, like I'm trying my best to just go through seasons one through through three because after that's the like the real show. Well, I was going to just say like um, I have no problem rewatching the first season or the third, but the second I don't think I will. Yeah, I haven't even talked about who the queen is. But anyways, I mean, kind of don't care. <laughs> in the grand what scheme, the, hold on a minute. in the grand scheme of things, yeah, it's Astoria. Hold on. But I really don't want to get into her whole plot line. Queen? If I'm being honest there with you, there is a queen. Or is this a? I'll get to that queen? when I get to. She's a child queen. I'll get to that when I get to what royal powers are. Oh yeah, I can. I can. Yep. Uh, evil. This goes back to Ymir and, and the inception of Titans in general. Oh, and this is a child. Well, she is. Well, she's like. 16. It's so hard to tell the anime how old someone is if they don't blatantly tell you. But she's around the same age. But she's like an adorable young anime girl. So You would really relate and like Historia, actually. She's sweet. Everyone loves her. It's true. Everyone does love her and wants to Although I think the real reason for that is the fact that it goes into a theme of like... It goes into a theme later that I'll touch on. But anyways, season three ends with them finding out what was in Aaron's father's basement. And it was his old study where he found a photograph. I'm sorry, this is some banaf shit. A photograph? Just a photograph. Just and a we're photograph. all there like, and everyone's thinking like, it's the big deal is what's on the photograph. 
But really, these are a bunch of medieval people living in medieval times who just saw a photograph. Can we also just note here that we have been trying to figure out what the fuck is in the basement since episode one. Yeah, no. No, literally since episode one. They what, been, what's with the basement? So the, the basement, I believe, is in the... What's the that district called where he's from? Oh, the, the one that got destroyed. The one that got destroyed. Um, in the basement the, survived? It's a basement. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. that doesn't mean like there isn't as much Plot structural convenience. Da- there isn't an, uh, actually as much structural damage as you think there would. The the roads and streets and and uh, parody are really wide. Okay. They really are. Um, why it's still there is not important. I actually had a similar thought. Yeah. I think they do have trouble getting into the door though. So that's <laughs> yeah. It was <laughs> like they they had like a throwaway thing. Where it's like he had this key as a MacGuffin the whole time. It's like, oh, the key doesn't work. And then Levi just like kicks the door. Yeah, in. But yeah, which is annoying because they go, look, the whole fucking, what, three seasons, you're, you want to see what's in the fucking basement. And it's yeah. infuriating because it's literally just a district or two over there. I know they had to reclaim it. It was run over with Titans. Sure. But like he's carrying the fucking key around his neck and you're like, just go to the fucking basement. Mm -hmm. How do you expect the character to go to the fucking basement when it's overran by Titans? Because you can turn into a fucking Titan. Just go. Does he know this at this point? He Uh, he figured it out halfway through season one. Yeah. I would say less than that. Let's just say by season two, he can kind of control it enough to go figure out what's in that fucking basement. He could just be like, you know what, guys? I'm just going to go for a run. I'll be back with some world changing information. A unit of squads could very easily like um, keep an eye out outside while someone ran in there. It wouldn't be an issue. But the real thing is... Is the government skilled. wants to control him because they don't know what the fuck to think of a man who can turn into a No, Titan. I mean, we wouldn't... The plot... It, the writing would have sucked if they actually found a way to do it. But anywho, I'm just saying it's frustrating as shit. They go into the big mysterious basement and on top of a photograph... Well, here's, here's the thing that really f- fucks with the brains of us. <laughs> <laughs> the brains of us. As you can tell, it's my brain has been fucked. Uh, <laughs> Mine too, Brain's man. Time. Uh, yeah. work. <laughs> nah, but I, I would say, um, I would as say I the Jaeger. As I said Jaeger. earlier, Titans don't have genitals, so yeah. continue. Um, no, they do. No, they there's don't. There's a female. There is a feminine. There's she's got, boobs. She's got, she's got boobs. But it's which anime. Male Titans can anime. Have boobs if you're too. if you're a female in anime, you gotta have boobs. That's just a rule. Not all, according to just uh, not all female Titans have boobs. No, they don't. So they can have genitalia. Look, Dude, I'm I just saying the trope of big booby anime woman is real. Gender, where like. There's there's female presenting genderless beings without boobs. But any who's there's like a suggestion the of fo- boobs, but I <laughs> sorry suggestion of boobs. <laughs> and that's what I'm gonna call the Jess story. Yeah, my memoir. <laughs> but anyways, the photograph is Grisha Yeager's. <laughs> Rose, stop. The photograph is Grisha Yeager's old family. From when he lived on a, in a different civilization. His first family. His first family. Can we also Wait, say that Aaron that. is not upset enough about that? Yeah. Because <laughs> I would have been heartbroken. Grisha <laughs> Yeager. Know, his dad had two families. Yeah. He had a family before coming over to the walled cities. He had a mission, though. What the fuck? Well, and he had to indoctrinate himself with a... No pun intended, because he is a doctor. <laughs> He is a doctor. (laughs) Yeah, he is a doctor. He had to indoctrinate himself into parody society. That means having a kid. That means taking a wife. That means taking care of the villagers. He Uh, was holding... His mission was to find and contain the founding titan and all of its power. So he had to live a pretty normal life to live incognito and all that. And he chose... And to keep it away from Marleans. It's the only place where it was. Seriously? Seriously. The only place where they're not going to fuck so with him. So he, what, he took the Titan's powers and then decided to say, fuck it to my other family, I'm living here now? No, he had no choice to go there. He was, um... So, I think this is a good time to just bring up all of what Marley is. Yeah, we can jump to season four now, because that will set the stage for Grisha's story. Yeah, Grisha was originally from the civilization known as Marley, which is just across the sea from the island of parody. parody with the walled city. Okay. It's a small little island that contains everything and for the longest time And lots of valuable Eld- resources as well. A lot of resources. A yes. lot of resources. And all the Eldians were sort of not all of them, but a majority of the kingdom of Eldia was pushed to this one specific island okay. where they can be sort of like contained and kind of fuck off. 
and they were not be able to and brainwashed and kept safe by a ki- their king. Their king, who had the power of the founding titan, the founding titan can yes. control Eldians. When you have royal blood and you have the founding titan, you are able to thought control and pretty much brainwash in mass. So in his in the case of the okay. king. He made it so that way all the Eldians forgot that there was an outside world. Yes. Oh, okay. That so it's like, hey, we're just here. We're fucking off. We don't need to go anywhere else. We're just this is here safe. and living. We're keeping you safe. Don't ask questions. To the rest of the world, it's like, look, we fucked off. But also simultaneously, um, I have this power. I also have a walled wall city that built with crystallized titans and all i have to do is shout once oh yeah we forgot to mention there's titans in those walls there's t- that's how they built the walls they're titans at this rate i'm not surprised so the story of grisha jaeger is as a young man he was living in marley in the eldian ghetto okay. where you had to get specific papers if you want to go outside and you had to wear an armband that was yellow with a star in it and so less london and more we're yeah Berlin. not mm, well yeah. it, um, just it, it, just in this aspect but i think but it, actually architecturally london makes more sense I london think. does make more london sense makes more sense very european yeah okay. very european but you can easily draw parallels to what exactly the main theme and of honestly this is. you can draw them wherever you want it, it, but this is very not subtle no, no it's over no. the fucking head but anyways, as a youngster, he's out with his younger sister. They want to go see the new airship that's being invented, which is... A blimp? A blimp or a zeppelin. Okay. And that kind of solidifies how much more technologically advanced Marley is than any other uh, place oh, at this time. Yes, of course, because they lasted so long. Yeah, they got blimps. <laughs> Look, blimps were a good stride. They did not last long, no. I'm... One Hindenburg later. All, and... I can think, yeah. Yeah. all I can think about is Archer. <laughs> <laughs> talk about blimps and he's just like anyone time someone has a lighter it's like no yes <laughs> even though they're like it's not flammable it gets really dark though because <laughs> Brody's like we're not even gonna go there because right it's now. like hey you're fucking Eldian uh we're gonna beat the shit out of you and we're gonna take your sister home can we can we just talk about that what, sister did not make it can home can we just talk about what happened to Grisha's sister because it's really terrible oh yeah they just uh, tell Rose. the police and get ready to make sure you're in a comfortable state to hear bad news uh they basically beat the shit out of his sister and fed her to their dogs and that's what motivated him to later on become to join the Eldian Patriots who were sort of this freedom fighter group Freedom I think group. they may, might have raped her, too. I, I think it's implied. I wouldn't put it aside. So as a part of the Eldian Patriots, Grisha met his first wife, uh, Dinah Fritz, who did, in fact, have royal blood. She did, yes. Okay. And then they had a son named Zeke. Did this, Zeke get killed? No. Zeke did not get killed. Zeke... Uh, turned in as... He betrayed his parents. Okay. What? <laughs> Zeke, Zeke, influenced by his grandmother and grandfather. Right. Um, um, Grisha, and what was her name? The mother. Oh, Dinah. Dinah. Were, Dinah, um, Dina, something like that. It doesn't matter. We all know who we're talking about. Yeah. They um, were... Cons- started starting a revolution. They, they had were like conspiring. a little club of yeah. sorts. They had other they were getting other people in, they were recruiting, they were having meetings. You know, they were really um uh a call to arms. They were getting action started. Yeah. Um, they're so, and they were getting Zeke involved too, which kind of makes Well, they wanted to use Zeke as a pawn and, or, and they wanted to use him to get one of the Titans' powers. Bruh. Mar- yeah? That never goes well. No, it does. You does- decide that your only yeah, child is a fucking involved. pawn, political or otherwise. Yeah. It's a political pawn. Well, it's- not even political. They needed him to become, like, super-powered. Because Marley... Does not recognize Eldians as people. They think yeah, of them as like a. Lo- they think of them as lower class or lower life forms, just yeah. less than human. And unless you are a Marleyan warrior, who is a member of Marley's military, who takes on one of the Titan powers, and is then recognized as Marleyan. And so is your family. But not even full Marleyan. It's still a subset of Marleyan. Yeah, there's still the. 
a lot of social shit going on there. And that's besides there the point, though. But they needed to use Zeke to become the Beast Titan. Big monkey. So, so his... Zeke, no, Zeke throws both of his parents under the bus to the grandparents. They report them to the Gestapo, the secret police of that time. That, that's what yeah. they are. Mm-hmm. And they take the parents to Paradis, put them on a wall, and... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, we didn't talk about the owl. Well, this is a good time to bring up the owl. Can you talk about the owl? So, I feel like I'll muddle it a little too much. Yeah, so basically instead of... Instead of the death penalty with Marlians, they have the Titan pol- the Titan thing. Just for Eldians. Yeah, where they basically bring them to parody, you inject them with the goo that turns them into the big dumb Titans, and then release them on into the world. Okay. Uh, there, disguised as one of the Marlian guards, is the Owl, who is, for all intents and purposes... He is a guy named Aaron Kruger. He is the attack titan, or the person who is currently uh, controlling the attack titan. Well, on top of all the different titans there are, attack titan's one of them. And with it, he kind of gives Grisha the mission of, hey, you gotta go to Parody, you gotta become one of them, you gotta find the find- founding titan, eat them so you get that stuff, and then, and only then, you can really, like, save the world and shit. So, so he turns Grisha into a Titan, injects him with the serum. His wife had already been turned by a soldier and pushed off the wall. Yeah. So Dinah, unfortunately, is done for. Dinah and all the Eldian patriots actually come back. Like, we all, like, they show all of them, and then, like, in season one, we see all of the exact same people as Titans come invade the village. Yeah, like we mentioned earlier, this, uh, the whole script in general is extremely tight. Yes. So they're the ones who break down the wall? The Colossal comes back to break down the wall for yeah, a second time. The second time. And then the uh, Eldian Patriots who became Titans are let in. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, he lets them in knowingly. It's knowingly. just chaos. He knows. <laughs> yeah. And that kind of covers everything for the seasons one through three. Uh, setting up who we think is the real villain and then... That brings us to season four, which so I will get. Who's the real villain? Oh, honey. We're about uh, to... You're... He's... He's about I'm going to explain it after I make another drink. We're back. We got drinks. I got a new Aaron Jaeger. This one's definitely more bitter than the first ones. Uh, it's a lot more mature. It. <laughs> It seems to have it has it tastes like revenge. It sometimes like get goes about as an injured oh, soldier revenge. on weekends. Yeah, getting children to do his dirty work for him. Or just trying to consume what is, anything. What is with media nowadays and children soldiers? I think I just want to pose that question out to the universe. I think out it, to the void. I would well, I would blame I mean, Harry Potter. I don't really want to Harry get into Potter it too much, but. Jackson. Attack on Titan. The young, the young in adult the real world, action. There are tons of adventures. children soldiers all over the world. It's a very real thing. It is Bummer. a real thing, which is why I'm posing the question of media: Why are you choosing this? But it's fine because Aaron's all grown up. Yeah, they're he, adults now, so you don't have to feel bad about yeah, it. Yeah, he's like I want to say like 18 now or something. He's 18 or 19. 18 or 19, but considering how much stress he has, he's like 40. Oh, you might yeah. as well be 40. Might as well. Yeah. Well, he's got... Whatever makes you feel more He's got, like, two lifetimes of memories. Multiple lifetimes of memories. Yeah, that's a good point to make. And so when you feel bad person. about how... What? So, his dad's memories. Oh, he and guess what? his father's memories. We glazed over this. Um, he has Armin. Aaron Kruger's memories. And he's everyone who came titan. before them. The Attack Titan and the Founding Titan... He has memories from both of them that are sort of locked away. And some of Historia's memories from when they touched each other. That's true, because he has Founding Titan and is t- touching a royal blood person. Yeah. And it which happened, activates and it happened special with titan his power. stepmom, too. Yeah, we forgot, forgot about that. Dinah Fritz, who I mentioned, was royal bloodline. Yes. And then became, like, a titan because she was an Eldian patriot conspirer. Yes. Uh, was sent to parody, yes. and the, the initial... A uh, colossal Titan attack and bashing down the wall where Titans came in. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Dinah Fritz Titan was the one that ate Aaron's mother. Yep. That bitch. 
Nah. She didn't mean to. Yeah, she didn't mean to. She was I'm, hungry. I don't know. She's if this hungry. Is, I don't know if this is canon that. or not, but I believe the popular theory is that um, this happened with the girl that's with Historia because she was an Eldian that got changed into a Titan, and we th- she ate... Porco. Yeah. Not Porco. She ate someone who had one of the nine Titans. Oh, yeah. So when and Reiner and Berthold and the gang again. came over, there was another person with them who had another Titan. But like Jess said... Uh, that Titan ate the other kid. So the theory is is that the reason Titans eat humans because they have no biological reason to eat. They don't have an intestinal system or an asshole or any. Like, they don't need to eat. Uh, they're trying to become human again by eating humans. That's valid. This is just a theory. Mm-hmm. I know we're, we're doing more of that later, but it was relevant. Oh, we'll theorize a lot. But... What the hell? But anyways, no, that's Gertie's thinking the same thing. She's like, that's, well, not, that's not surprising. It's season four, and we're back to more child soldiers. Woo. Oh, we are. And yeah. they're overtly children, and I am they're sorry. They're children. They, they'd be children. Like What them children doing, guys? What them? What the kids doing? Uh, these kids are fighting for the Merlean military, uh, trying to take down what looks like a Middle Eastern country. And for those um, out there that don't have a brain that works this way, uh, Brody, can you give us a direct correlation of who these children represent? Can you give me a hint? They uh, represent Aaron, Armin, and Mikasa oh, in wait. earlier seasons. All right, cool. I'll say that. They represent Aaron and Mikasa <laughs> and Armin in the earlier seasons. No, they but, do. But there's like, there's like new children who are the new Merlean warrior candidates. They are Eldian and they are training to become Merlean warriors and take on Titan shifts for the next term. Yep. So there is Gabby, who aspires to being... She's the Aaron of the group. She's the Aaron of the group. She she's aspires the to the becoming the new Armor Titan because she looks up to Reiner. Are they cousins? There were, there's some relation with some of them. I can't remember how. It's not super important for the plot. Yeah, but she wants that. She has her friend Falco... Who is sort of lagging? Armin. Behind. He's, he's yeah. Maybe Armin and Mikasa together, because there's only two children. I, I would say more dies. Mikasa. He's trying to protect her because he knows becoming an armored like titan. He's cautious would and strategic, like Armin. Yeah. Mikasa is just good at everything. And there's two other kids, but they don't actually matter too much. They don't. Do they no. die? Some of yeah. them do. Yeah. They get squashed by rocks and shit. During a big fight. The but coolest, anywho's the best fight. Holy shit. Yeah. Can we talk about the season premiere of the fourth season real quick? Were you not just screaming at your TV like I was? Mm. <laughs> I think means that I was like, yes! Yes! It's everything that we've ever wanted. Yeah. yeah. It's 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 Aaron fucking up all the people of Marley. He's finally getting his revenge. But before I get to that. Is he is he in like Titan form? Or yes. Is he just, okay, he's nice. Uh, but before, he's been be- incepting that shit yeah. for a while. Though. Before that, though, he's been disguised as a Merlean war veteran. He wants to see what life was like on the other side. And he actually meets his grandfather. He does, yeah. He's also a doctor. Mm-hmm. Okay. Comes from a long line of doctors. Aaron and Reiner actually meet for a brief moment. Okay. He and this the whole couple of episodes is just showing that Reiner really fucked up his life. He joined the the whole like military force only out of loyalty, hoping that he would become Merlean and his father would love him. He did not. Okay. And you can't win your parents' loves, guys. He lost Annie, the Marcel was his name, the Jaw Titan, and Berthold got eaten. Berthold got eaten by Armin. Yeah, Armin yeah, is did. now the Colossal Titan. Yeah, Armin's the Colossal Titan, and it's because Armin got scorched by the body heat from the Colossal Titan. And it's the only way to him save down. him. And it was the only way to save him. And it was between him and the handsome blonde man. What's his name? Erwin. Uh, he was, he's a great strategist and was the leader and, once again, strategist of the scouts. Mm-hmm. God, what some great final But ultimately, they chose Armin. It was Levi's choice who to decide to let live an additional 13 years. And they went with Armin, mm-hmm. which um, Armin also is just as good of a strategist. Yeah. It, everyone I'm not going to say better. Everyone's on proven. different sides, but I like that it's Armin. 
So, I like that it's Armin too, just so we have our final three heading yeah. into the fourth season. So Levi, he's still alive. Uh, if they kill Levi, I will fucking flip tables. At this point, I don't think he can die. No, he they has can't. The main character immunity. No, he doesn't. But he, oh, I, I just there's like, just I'm, like no more show after that though. <laughs> Like you Levi know? is Levi the one character carrying this. Oh, Ani, let me tell yes, you how he, great Levi is, is. I just got a tattoo done recently and I was sitting with my artist talking about how cool a Levi tattoo would be and that I would get one. Can That's you get, how awesome. Can you get it on the nape of your neck? No, oh wait, that would be cool. I would get it right next just to my Just him going like slashing and it's just like, well, oh, actually, my neck. so I did have an idea just to get um his hands, how he holds it, you know how he holds a teacup weird? Yeah. I was thought about just getting that done. Hmm. I know, it's, it's a cool fucking... He holds it like this. It's kind of like how L holds a cell oh, phone. the cell phone. I okay. actually thought about getting two... T- t- I can't, I'm not going to get another L tattoo. Mm-hmm. I've already got one. But um, I thought it would be cool to get one with L holding the cell phone like this and then Levi holding his cup underneath it. Oh, it's debatably a good idea. It hasn't happened, but, but whatever. Anyways, Let's move on. Uh, Reiner is depicted as sort of like the victim of everything that happened to him. He is a victim in his own ways. And what this fourth season has illustrated, more than anything, stuff that, themes that you've probably already picked up on, but that um, we're living in a world of gray. There is no black and white. There are no good guys. There are no bad guys. If we really want to go back into the history, uh, it really, the fourth season really is just reinforcing the futility of revenge. Yeah. Because the Eldian Empire ruled... And then Marley wanted to get revenge on them for taking all their stuff. And the whole Patri- Eldian Patriots was getting revenge on Marley for sort of like putting them in the ghettos. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole point of the Colossal and, R- and Reiner and Nanny and all those folks going over to Parody was to get revenge on the founding Titan, a person they have never met in their life. And Aaron gets his revenge on those guys by, on the day of the big grand show in Marley, where a rich man, Tiber or something, Mm -hmm. um, is making a declaration for the entire world to wage war on parody. Aaron Yeager busts out in Titan form and then immediately just takes a guy and fucking eats him. Lord. Yeah. Okay. And then in his family, there's the Warhammer Titan. Yeah, and the Warhammer Titan. It's, it's the most badass of all badass Titans. You know how we talked about how, like, Titans have the power to harden Hold themselves? On, I'm going to look up the Warhammer Titan. Yeah, sh- get a picture. Yeah, because it's truly unique. Yeah. The Warhammer Titan has the power to use the hardening ability to create new weapons. What the fuck? How dope is that? And and look, once again to re-solidify, no pun intended, what I was saying earlier. Nice. Um, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this Titan is piloted by a woman, and, and that ain't a lady. So I think I I, I don't, Oh yeah, no boobies. No, no, well, no. That's a that's a clearly a penis is supposed to go there, and those are pectorals. Yeah. Anyways, look at that face. So cool. It, you know, for those of you who have never seen the show, I'm just going to say that. The Warhammer Titan kind of looks like a white gimp suit. It is but very like, gimpy. way cooler. It is gimpy. Oh, look, see, look, there's a crystallized mallet. It's so dope. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, Aaron eats the person piloting that. So now Aaron has three Titans. The founding Titan, who... Does he fucking die? How much power is that? All the... He gets all Aaron the power. Aaron has too much power. Aaron has way point. too much power. Way too much power and he's power very and corrupt at this anger. point. Yeah. But... But in his defense, he is like, I mean, like you said, he's got the memories of how many people he knows how things yeah. are going to end. He's got a lot more wisdom that he has not, to my knowledge, shared with the others yeah. yet. He definitely has like some sort of hidden agenda that even we don't know. Exactly. As Except the audience. The Aaron. Aaron. In the future, there's still some episodes to come. They haven't ended it yet. But you think about Aaron understanding his father, uh, the founding Titan... And now, uh, what would come from the Tiber family being the richest of all the Eldians living in Marley? So he has three perspectives oh, I have of a question, Eldian hatred. Actually, Brody, maybe mm-hmm. you can help me out with this, dude. So Aaron at this point has three Titans in his belly. Correct. 
Um, with is his lifespan still just whatever is left of his thirteen years, or does he get extended? That's a good question. I would assume it kind of like starts at like the first Titan he gets. Sorry, I'm burping. But hypothetically, he could have it reset. I, I, you get what I'm asking, right? I get what you're asking, and I don't What's know. What's his if, lifespan? I don't know if I have an answer yet. I think he talked about it a little bit in the jail cells. I could be wrong. You know, when they get back to Parody and they throw him in jail. They, they, he always ends up in jail. Well, he deserved <laughs> it. He could have broken out whenever he wanted to, which is something he made very clear. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's just, just being respectful. He's just there out of courtesy. Yeah, yeah, he really <laughs> fucking not- is. I'm not trapped here in here with you. You're, You're trapped, trapped in here, here with, with me. me. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. Well, he's got nothing better to do at that point. He doesn't really want to hurt his friends. No. But I'm, I, it's seeming like if, if, if his friends get in the way of his end goal, he absolutely will. I Oh, shit. What if, they're, what if, he, what if he kills Mikasa? Uh, Jess, this is probably a good time to ask. When... What is the last thing you saw? Because I know you're not all the oh, way caught no. up. Okay, yeah. So no, 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 no it's it's it, so she's I've okay. Dis- I've discussed Our girl's it. okay. Yeah, I've discussed That's this with good. Brody off stream, and I'm cool with having the last few episodes of part one spoiled. Uh-huh. Uh, side note: Me and my husband, the last episode we watched together was Sasha's funeral. Rest oh, in peace, right. Sasha. We love you. You were so great, and you are a girl after my own heart. I love potatoes too. Um, <laughs> Sasha was the comic relief of the show, and she was the potato lady. She really she was loved very food. Very hungry and loved food, and was always trying to steal food. The first scene she's in is uh, a drill sergeant kind of like going down the line, and she has a potato that she's subtly and trying. She to offers eat. him some. Um. Uh, She's dead now. Yeah, yeah, Sasha gone. Uh, mm-hmm. We loved Sasha, and actually, she had a romance with um, a, a, a with chef, a chef with the chef from another nation, How which I, was that? really beautiful. And I'm I'm actually really sad that it didn't get to play out because it was so wonderful. It it plays out, but yeah. what was the last thing you saw, Jess? It was Sasha's funeral, and I just want to add, mm-hmm. like, just for the record, me and my husband stopped watching because we were really bummed out about that episode, and we were like. Whatever, this show's not even over with. We have a whole other fucking season. Let's just stop now and binge it all together. So that was like a decision I made. But... But please tell me what happens after Sasha's funeral. Well, let's take a step back real quick in continuing the revenge narrative of everything. Agreed. After Aaron busts over and just starts terrorizing Marley, uh, Gabby, the warrior candidate, uh, takes, takes things in her own hands. Oh, we didn't mention that Gabby and... Falco were stowaways on the blimp back to Paradis. Yeah, they get... So they're in Paradis now. They hitch a ride onto the blimp that they used. Are they used. trying to kill the yeah, 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 yeah. They want to kill everybody. The first thing Gabby did when they're, she got on that airship that was she shot Sasha. Oh, okay. She was just... That bitch. She was no, just... She, I'm not mad at Gabby about it. Mm, I don't... I don't... I, don't she... I hate her. But, but <laughs> I she, hate was, her, but I get she it. was just blindly aiming at whatever person she yeah, could Yeah, she didn't kill. mean to shoot yeah. me. And that just so happened to be Sasha. Well, and how many people that she loved did Aaron and everybody kill in Marley? You know, it, yeah. like I said, there is no it's, black and white. It's the revenge you know? narrative. There, she doesn't know everything that's happening. She just know that uh, uh, the, a foreign invader came, and now she wants to get revenge. Yeah, and now, like, my it's all killing. dead, and another uh, titan that we all looked up to is dead. Mm-hmm. And so, Cart Titan's either dead or incapacitated. I think incapacitated. Uh, they're Cartman? still around. Yeah. Cartman? Um, There's a lot of Titans. Which one? There's nine of them. There's, right? there, the Cart Titan is one that's kind of like... It seems stupid until you see its, its utilization in battle. Yeah. They put... They put gun stations they put on They put guns them. on the back of the Cart Titan. And it also carries things. That's the Cart Titan. But anyway... It's a, a horrible life. And then that's... Cart Titan IRL. She's amazing. And she also does crawl around like that a lot because she's... Oh, well, she's just used to being the Titan. Yeah, and she's great. And I love her character design. Especially the butt. No, oh. they, they actually do make a point to be like, hey, this character's yeah. got a... She crawls around on all fours wherever she goes and she's got a butt. Yeah, she needs to. It would Anime! Make, in fact, it would make less sense if she didn't have an ass. Now, so, I guess now that we said that, of the calories you burn as a Titan, you burn... it. As a human, too. Interesting. That's it. Well, if you build muscle as a titan, you burn. You know what I'm saying. You all know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Basically, the the next big plot point that you, after what Jess saw is eventually everyone meets up back together in a restaurant. Oh wait, can I say? Can I just say also that I do know that Zeke 
is not as bad of a guy as we think he is. Okay, Just Zeke has a con- different plan. There's connotations to him having, yes, a different plan than what we thought he was. Mm-hmm. Zeke's the guy who got his... He's Big a, monkey. He's a snake in the grass, but a, another way. Yeah, Zeke has a whole other plan and comes back to parody on the same ship as everyone else. So he's the half-brother, right? Yes. He was captured. Levi captured him. He didn't kill him. He should have. Uh, he's too precious of a resource Levi despite his upbringing which we didn't discuss and it's actually not hugely important because we didn't even talk about his he's brother. just a badass character altogether he's just he grew up in like an underground world yeah so also um, side note there's a whole city underneath <laughs> yeah they kind of just pop, bring that out of nowhere too. they really do they didn't touch on it at all and wait, I was very wait, confused by that top city gets attacked yep they can't. They can't even fucking enter a fucking basement. Mm-hmm. But so they, they enter the basement. They, they have no problem. Eventually, yeah. they get to the fucking basement. Is what you guys were telling me. No they one wants no to go problem. to the underground city. It's they filled with hookers and drug dealers. It's the slums. No one wants yeah, to go down there. No, there's no problem with going to an underground city. So the whole top side. Where do you think the refugees went? Yeah. Um. Levi's from there. His mother was a prostitute. He was found. By his, I guess, stepbrother is a kind way to say it. With Kenny? His... Yeah, aren't they stepbrothers? I thought that was his uncle. Right? Oh, uncle. His it doesn't relative. matter. They're, rel- they're related. Yeah, they're, they're the relative. same clan, same uh, family. Poor little baby yeah. Levi's like huddled in the corner with his mother's corpse in bed. He'd just been staying in the room with her while after his mother had passed. Mm-hmm. Okay. Malnourished. Malnourished. This guy. Not been outside. What's the guy's name again? Kenny? Kenny took. I mean, honestly, he made Levi who he is today, so I'm gonna say he took great a care killer. of him. Yeah, yeah. That's where Levi learned all his shit, his street smarts, and his quick wits, and his uh, quick on his feet, and good with the The fact that he wants to clean everything now—that probably came from, you know, being next to a corpse for a while. Wait, is he OCD? He's he loves cleaning. He I wouldn't is, really say uh, OCD. He, we could say he, he's like a military guy. Is what he is now. Yeah, military man. I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could have enough information about him to really say he's OCD or not. I I couldn't either, and that's not fair to OCD in general because it's so different. But Zeke, he has a new plan that he hatched. Can you tell me the plan? Because I because I never got to that point. So Zeke's plan spawns from some a memory he had with his father Grisha, where he went to go see a clock tower being made. Okay. And. The, there was a man there. He was very nice to them. Saw that they were Eldians. Just like, ugh, fucking Eldians. You know, the world would be better if you just stopped having babies. So he's gonna what? So, using Aaron's founding Titan and his Titan powers with royal bloodline, he actually can control Eldians if they're together. He can, mm-hmm. yes. He wants to use the power to make a mass euthanasia. Everybody becomes sterile. No more Eldian babies get made. That actually might be for the best. Which, if you... I hate to say it, but in the way they're misused... Look, if you're going to commit genocide, that's a pretty merciful way to do it. I agree. Yeah, I... God, I'm like the worst person to have this discussion with, but on paper, it sounds really good. You're taking away free will, sure, sure, but there's no way that countries will not just misuse Eldian blood Oh, yeah, no, forever, absolutely. Ever, I think ever, that's even the ever. point that uh, John made. It's just like, yeah, so even if that happens, what's going to stop the everyone from coming to kill us once we're old men? eat Aaron, which ain't going to happen easy. Well, they don't have to eat, eat him. They just have to touch. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, they should do it then. Just like when... Uh, well, what's Aaron's hang-up for doing this? He just doesn't want to work with Zeke? I think they're all just trying to find freedom. Aaron's whole shtick is freedom. And that brings us... It's ironic, because the last time I saw him, he was in jail. (laughs) Well, he got out. Of course he did. So while while that's going on, uh, Aaron meets in the restaurant, back with Armin and Mikasa after forming the Jaegerists, who are people who (laughs) who are basically just cult worshippers of Aaron Jaeger, who realize, hey, Aaron is kind of the most powerful thing in the world right now. I'm going to follow him like he's God. And... (laughs) <laughs> the Jaegerists, is that what they call themselves? Yeah, well, the military called them Jaegerists, and it just kind of stuck. Yeah, that's usually how that And goes. so the Jaegerists took over the military at this point, because why not? Is that old man with the mustache there still? 
Pixis? Yeah. Pixis is... Because he's dope as shit. He's dope as shit. He's kind of like conspiring with another Merlean who was sort of a traitor that said that they would help. So they're all traitors right now? Everyone's a traitor. No, I, I mean, who are they a traitor to? Yeah, exactly. Parody, Parody has... Well, like they're said, shady. Histori- they're shady, but Historia has only been in power for how long? Oh, we less than five years. years. Yeah, um, and before that, it was a farce king led by a council of rich upperclassmen. Mm-hmm. I mean, loyalty to what? And then if you see yeah, a man no- turn into a giant and kill all your enemies, I'm going to worship that guy. Yeah, it's like the giant head in the sky, you know? But <laughs> Aaron a giant come- head in the sky controlling the weather. I'm going to go pray to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> But Aaron meets up with uh, Armin and Mikasa in the restaurant because they're trying to check up on uh, Sasha's old boyfriend who's running a restaurant. Introducing Paradians to wonderful food they've never had before. Yeah. Okay. And wine. Yes. They didn't have wine? They had wine, but this is the good stuff. Okay. It's like the Italian shit. Yeah. The true shit then. They meet there with the Jaegerists and... It's a roundtable discussion with Gabby, uh, Armin, Mikasa, and Aaron, who are already cut his hand, and it's like, hey, I can turn into a titan right fucking now, so y'all better sit the fuck down and listen. And basically goes on this whole speech that sums up his philosophy and how there is no such thing as freedom. Everyone is sort of a slave. Mikasa, being an Ackerman and coming from a clan of warriors who were meant to protect royalty um ackermans are immune to the shouts of titans that's true they are not susceptible to um i guess influence from anyone is just a simple way to put it Mm -hmm. uh kenny is also an ackerman yes as is levi yeah and yeah you're right levi's so amazing and basically he (laughs) basically her instinct says if there is an occasion where i am in trouble me aaron you are always going to have a burst of strength that will make you protect me it's just an instinct of your family. Armin, after eating Berthold, has been visiting Annie's big crystal for a while. So he inherited the the sympathetic feelings for her that Berthold had. Yes. And Gabby's just fucking fighting for a cause that she doesn't even know about. I, I would say at this point, though, like, Gabby and Falco probably have the most tangible goals. They just want to go home. Yeah, well, I mean, like, as a viewer, like... So these two just don't want to be there anymore? No, nah, they fucked up. So they are stowaways, wanted to, like, fucking kill everyone. Well, Gabby wanted to kill everyone. Falco wanted to come because he didn't want Gabby to be alone. Still. You know but, what that, I mean, mood. You I know what that actually uh, reminded me of? Uh, when I was re-watching the show a little while ago with my brother, I got to the part where it's Aaron versus Annie. Mm-hmm. And at this point... We have just seen Annie being the female Titan. Is this first season? Yeah, first yeah. season, end of first season. Yep. And her whole thing is just being this mysterious enemy who's been fucking up the military's plans. God, I'm making a on Crystal. Annie's probably got a lot of shit to say. Oh, she's, 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 there's no way they've just forgotten about Annie. No, no, But no, no, no. back to season one, I was just rewatching this, understanding the perspective of she's just on this big mission. And every flashback she has during that fight is just of her father saying, "Hey, please promise me you'll go home." And that just yeah, com- that, yeah. that completely flipped everything because it's like she's not the villain now. She's just a girl who wants to go home. Where they all kind of want to go home. They all want to go way. home. Where is where is Annie's home? Uh Marley. 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 So Annie wants to go back to Marley. She just wants to go home. She's sick of the fucking mission. Everything has gone to shit. She just wants to go home. They want to live their lives and go home. She's crystallized, right? She's crystallized. She's probably she's crystallized. Just as close, a, like a close as a, to like, her death, just as much as uh, yeah, last second Reiner protection. And Zeke, yeah, I mean, their 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 time, they're on all on borrowed time. That's the thing I told my brother. It's like, hey, I, I want you to watch this. You haven't seen the basement thing yet. I'm just gonna tell you this. Reiner is the protagonist. Go. I'm actually I'm serious. Uh, the same no, thing. No, that's fair. Well, that's fair, especially in the last season. Here, Rose, let me put it like we'll this. We'll say last half of the third, and then most of the fourth. Reiner is to Aaron what Zuko is to Aang. Okay. You got it. I got it. They're on the same journey. They're on the same mission, but they're just on two different sides of a war that's it's bigger like than them. Yeah. Okay. 
foil they're, character. They're two sides of the same coin. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I got it. Cool. But all of us are going to be immediately sympathetic to Aaron because we watched him this entire... I mean, Aaron's whole thing initially is he's just going to avenge his mother's death. Yeah. His whole... He wants to kill every, all the Titans. I mean, episode did, once, he's like, I'm just going to kill them all. And we didn't talk about this, and he but did. by the fourth season, there are no tertiary Titans left on parody. They're all dead. Mm-hmm. They killed every single one of them. Titans that... are no longer a threat anymore. Way to go, Aaron. Oh, well, those kind of Titans. But so wait, so all the, let's just say... Like, the dumb Titans. The dumb Titans are dead. Yeah, they're all gone. Uh, you missed... There's one detail that happens. So you know that wine I mentioned? Mm-hmm. It had Titan fluid in it. No! Yep, before they brought it over. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, who drank the wine? Everyone. Everyone. But it changes them instantly. Everyone in the military. <gasps> no, it doesn't change them instantly. Until, they have to die? N- until... Is this vampire rules? It's not vampire rules. It's Zeke having royal blood rules. So at a certain point... So Zeke's not letting anyone change. No, Zeke yet. is making them all change. He, there's like a certain point where it's like he's still a prisoner, so he's wait, 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 wait. There's he, so Levi Zeke is, drank it too. He he drank tea. Oh, oh thank God! No. Thank I oh my boy. But Lev, but Levi did have to kill all of his former uh, companions, comrades, and oh friends. Oh my God! When you guys leave, I'm watching the rest of this. You play. should. I'm going to. Hold we'll up. talk about. Wake up, Zade. Wait, we're doing it wait, now. Hold on. Is Levi one of the last? Uh, Levi is not going to die. Anymore. Levi, it'll be no, 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 no. the worst show I've ever Wait, seen in my fucking is he life. He's one of the last though, because he didn't drink the wine. He said specifically he is he the drank, last. He didn't. He drank tea, so he is the very last one of the group he was in. Yeah, his battalion, which is the most skilled. Yeah. What about the two kids who were from? Well, they're not Eldian, so it doesn't matter. So let's going back to the big revenge narrative of everything. When yeah, Gabby, yeah. they're not Eldian, are they? Gabby is Eldian. Is Falco? Oh. Falco is also Eldian. They wanted okay. to become the warriors, so they had to be Eldian. Oh, you're right. You're right. I apologize. Uh, so Gabby had wanted to go find more Marleyans, and she was like, hey, there's Marleyans working in this restaurant. So she fucks off to go see... She fucks off to go see uh, the guy who cooked for Sasha. Yeah, her, her lover. And it's just like, hey, so how did you get here anyways? And it's like, oh... I just killed a woman, and they brought me here prisoner. And it's just like, you killed Sasha? And it's just like, yeah. So, like, he's just like, oh, fuck, I'm going to kill this kid. He's just trying to, like, bash a wine bottle on her head. But Falco's like, oh, no, Gabby, I'm going to push you out of the way. Bashes Falco in the head. So Falco now he, he, well, he, his head is bleeding. His head is definitely he bleeding. Those children wine, didn't they? A little bit fell in his mouth. That's what he was worried about. Oh no! Wait. They wait, washed. So the they tried to knows. wash it out. Wait. So the chef knows. The chef knows. The well, chef knows the chef. Is... The chef knew that the wine that he was serving to the Eldians was uh, infused with the Titan, Titan serum. Fluid. Sorry, I took that's grosser, but it's what it is. It, I... It's neck juice. That's what it is. Why would he do this? It's sperm. <laughs> it's all because. Yes. Okay. It's, so he's not. So he's not really Marleyan. He is from a country that Marley kind of took over and put them in there. He's trying to take down both Marley and Parody. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. What's the resources? Say, why, why would he do that? To well, like I said earlier, resources? there's a lot of other countries interested in Parody because yeah, no, of the I, raw I, resources. I, I, mm-hmm. Yeah. No, there actually that. is a like Japanese a woman who yeah. comes over. And she's cool as shit, from what I remember. Yeah, and she actually says to Mikasa, "It's like, hey, I know you're the only other Japanese woman living here. Well, uh, you want to come mixed, home with me? Uh, uh... Does she go home? Nope. Oh, yeah. Why? Sucks. No, she wouldn't. She should not. She's not going to leave Aaron. Uh, that would be. Yeah. Mikasa will die defending Aaron, or Aaron will inadvertently kill her. Yeah. That's what I'm I calling. Mean, she died anyways, right? She's not dead yet. Is she, is she not? She's not dead. M- Mikasa... Mikasa's gonna be hard as shit to kill. Yeah. She is the most... Besides, they didn't drink the wine. Besides Levi, she's the best killer. Yeah. She didn't drink the wine? She didn't drink the wine. The only people she that really got turned listen, from all that were the people who were... Control. The only people who really turned were the people who were guarding Zeke. They're not main characters, but they're important. Okay. Filler characters. There's, army folks. Yeah. Okay. But you would notice their faces from other seasons, probably. Okay. Yeah. So, oh my God, Levi. So, 
the way things are now, uh, Zeke is free. Aaron has beaten the shit out of all of his old friends and completely burned the bridges with all the old relationships. He's not the same guy anymore. He has to. Uh, he's know. on a bigger we mission. We don't know what he has to do because we still don't know what's going on. And, he and then Peak, the cart titan, shows up to try to strike a deal. And it's just like, hey. Really? Yeah. With Aaron? With Aaron. And then it's just like, hey, Does so. Does Aaron eat her? No. Oh, he strikes a deal with her. They, she strikes a deal where it's like, hey, I need you. She's like, you know, there's enemies in this island. It's just like, point to them. And then she points right at Aaron. And then the fucking blimps show up from Marley. Oh my god. And then Reiner is there, looking, making dead eye contact with the transformed titan that is Aaron. And then it says, to be continued. And I'm just like, fuck. Well, so here's, here's what's exciting. We only have a week, guys. Is, um, oh, this is coming know... out today. Oh, it comes out today? Uh, today as in the day that this is out. Yeah. So Sunday. Yeah. So, yeah. Days so, from today, record time. I mean, I didn't. Two I day Wednesday. release time. But what I'm it's saying Wednesday. is, we're finally it's gonna Wednesday. get to see Aaron in action um, as the Warhammer Titan, and he's gonna take out all those fucking blooms. Yeah. He's gonna murk those fuckers. So that so that was my big hour long <laughs> rant so, of the story okay. so far. I wanna know. So oh God, is I'm so Aaron right now, and he's got all the Titans, right? He's he has three. three, he's got three Three of the three, nine. Three, three of probably the, the most important ones. Yes. Okay. Is he, do you think, I'm going to pose this to both of you, just mm-hmm. what you know and Brody what you know, you know. I know a lot now. <laughs> yeah. Neither of you read the manga. No, we and have I, not, I, no. no. Okay. Only the show. Okay. I haven't read the manga. I don't watch the show. What do you think is going to happen? Ooh, well... Fuck, it's so hard to say. And now that I've learned all this new information. Well, first thing that's just coming to mind, there's no way they go through with Zeke's euthanasia plan. Self-destruction all the way around. I, I, I would be surprised if maybe Armin might survive. Yeah. Which would be the most tragic way to go about it, I think. But he's the best it, guy to live. It would weigh the heaviest on his heart, though. I think Aaron is definitely going to double-cross Zeke. When they are trying to do the plan, it's just like, I nah. I think if we want to really have a, a depiction of how much Aaron has changed and how much his values have changed, I would be interested to see him betray his friends. He, I forgot that. He already beat the shit out of Armin. He did? Yeah, he's just like, you know, you're just trying to stop me. So, you know, trying to stop okay, me. Okay, so I anticipate. And then he just Aaron, beats the shit okay, out of so his if friend. Aaron doesn't, if Aaron out. doesn't die at the end of this season, he will probably end up killing Mikasa and Armin. He will become. I think he wants to become God. He kind of is already. And they're done that. He, um, he's, uh, he I just call that Thursday. He will become yeah. the shade of black that I said doesn't exist in this world. He will become the ultimate evil. What I would, yeah. Mm-hmm. What I would really like, though, is for him to realize that none of his revenge has made him happy. Same with Reiner. Well, um, that's really the point of the show. It like ever since episode one, the show has been about revenge, and then it kind of shows that there's way more to the narrative than I'm gonna kill Titans because one of them ate my mother. Or nothing like. That. I actually like personal opinion. I don't think revenge gets you anywhere, and it nah. doesn't make you feel good in the long run. It's not helpful. Mm-mm. Uh, compassion is always and empathy is always the best way to go because not enough of it exists in this world i also think we talked about but how there's levi's like not gonna die and if levi levi's dies, not gonna like die said, I'm gonna flip fucking tables my husband's gonna have to like hold down my fucking ottoman in the living room it's gonna flip it <laughs> i'm gonna flip it mm. so do you think levi is gonna team up with anyone he like who? Need to. He's a fucking army of his. Yeah. Levi and Mikasa could do some I think fucking like, damage, though. I think I'm not gonna say what happens, but like after Zeke got away, I think he's just like you know I'm just gonna fucking kill this monkey. I'm so sick and tired of dealing this guy. That and you know what? And that would be another side of the coin as someone who has always had really strict rules on how they you know function, like Levi. Yeah. And throw them all. It's like. It's like getting Batman to kill someone. Yeah. It like really is you gotta like be really message. done with morals. Yeah, it's like the, <laughs> the only analogy I can make. It's like Batman pulled out a gun and shot someone. Yeah. If like Levi were to kill someone in cold blood like that. I have a new, I have a segment. This is fan theories. <laughs> we're back. We had so much fun doing the cartoon fan we theories. We really did, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. And we, I wanted to do some anime fan theories. Whoop, whoop. 
<laughs> Same as last time. I'm just going to read them off. We'll discuss them a little bit. Get a general yay or nay as for in terms of plausibility. I'm so down. I'm actually very happy because on here I actually did have Titans eat humans only because they want to revert. Oh, and I already said that. And you said that. And so, I did say that. I didn't yeah, say that, and I'm sorry, but yay. Yeah, no, I, that's that, it's nothing to apologize for. You just, you, you guessed it. It's that simple. I uh-huh. was very, when, I, the, uh, when the show's actively going, I am very much, very much so on the Reddit boards reading people's thoughts. Yeah, I say yay, there's no real reason for Titans to eat people. There is not, it's just to revert. And it kind of works to make them think like they are menacing, but really they are just like It makes you more creatures. sympathetic to once you know, God, can I just really quickly bring up, can you, do you remember how you felt when you found out that every Titan is just an LD intern? Oh yeah, I was just like, oh. I was very distraught and upset. Mm. All right, continue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I have a One Piece theory. Oh, Lord. Uh, one Piece was the friend. The, the treasure <laughs> of One Piece is the friends you make along the way. Bullshit! I swear to God, if that is, I wasted so much fucking time. Thousand episode anime. So much fucking time wasted. Looking for a big wasted. treasure, <laughs> and it's the friends you made along They're the way. To do a live action rendition. I actually saw the cast for that. It looks good. It lo- the cast looks fucking good as hell. Okay. But I definitely believe it because it's just corny enough. I think like there are people who no. like. I think there are people on episode five. It's like, oh, the treasures, the friends you make along the way, and here we are on episode a thousand. I swear to God, I've never. Wa- I've only seen a few episodes of One Piece, and I really like, like the idea of it. Enough. But it's too. Once again, it's too long for me to get into at this point in my life. Yeah, it's too long. It's goofy as hell. It's great, except ninety percent of it. Are filler episodes, and yeah. I watched Naruto. I can deal with like fifty percent fillers, not ninety percent. I really can't. I wasted so much fucking time. This is why it pisses me off. All that time wasted to find out that the treasure was oh the friends you make. No, that's does anyone bullshit. like it? But I, bet I, that, I bet it exists on Reddit. Someone who has every episode posted that isn't filler. That's essential to the narrative. Listen, yes, I'm please sure. do. I mean, if it doesn't exist, someone link please it do in it. the comments below. Yeah, and if you have any other better rec- recommendations for anime, you can email us at oneframeoff at gmail dot com. That's anime references, crazy fan theories. The ways you want Attack on Titan to end, uh, possible experimental mimosa recipes. Uh, just <laughs> uh, send, us, send us something. How do you season your pork chops? Yeah. I'm actually... What? I've been making a lot of pork chops lately. Oh, I get some. Tindy, Brody. Yeah. yeah. But that's uh, one frame off at gmail.com. I say yes to the treasure being friendship. I say bullshit. It has to be, right? Did they find the treasure at the end of the show? No! Probably. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, there isn't any. Whatever. Moving on. I got a lot more <laughs> theories. Uh, Kakashi's summons are actually therapy dogs. I see that. He, I actually see that. Kakashi went through a lot of trauma being on Boo Black Ops and accidentally killing his friend. That when he needed to get I his summon, his he needed to he needed a little help from a little uh, friendly therapy puppers. Are they corgis? No. They're, one of them, I want to say, is like a bulldog. Yeah, one's a bulldog. Cool. I love bulldogs. Um, yeah, I can see that. Kakashi. He needs the therapy he, dogs, I'll tell you what. I mean, that actually really tracks with Naruto's toads, too. The, the two old toads. Yeah. Because he summons... Oh my god, I don't remember his name. The I large, forget, I'm like, 90% the of Naruto. The toad. I know, the orange guy with the yeah, big robe, Jiraiya's, the blue robe. Yeah, Jiraiya's toad. But Naruto also has an elderly couple, the two toads. Yeah, and they help with, the, like, the sage chakra and yeah, shit. Yeah, they help him meditate and such. I can totally fucking see that. That tracks. Mm-hmm. I say yay. I say yay. I don't have an opinion. You abstain. I do. I got one. I have two, actually. Well, I have a lot of... I have one from My Hero Academia. Yes. Okay, let's go. <laughs> uh, Izuku Midoriya, or Deku, whatever you want to call him. I'm just going to call him Deku. Deku was actually born with a cork, but it was stolen by the doctor he saw when he was a kid. No, that's dumb. Actually, I, in one of the more recent episodes, it's all about the villains conspiring. I am not 100% caught up on My Hero, but I think that's that like totally ruins uh, Midoriya as a character. But the same doctor he sees as a kid is brought back and conspires with the villains doing experiments with corks. Or superpowers. Uh, I can be on the fence with it because I haven't seen that. Does the doctor have cork stealing abilities? Because there are some people that have the ability 
to take a cork, hold on to it, and transfer it to somebody else. Like like on right. the black market, they become black market dealers of corks. With my li- very limited knowledge of corks, he's Deku is the one who gets all lights powers. Right? Yes, he. The only way you can get that is if you didn't have a cork, though, right? It's passed down. No. No, It can be brought to anyone. It has just has to be a chosen successor. Okay, so... Because they wanted it to go... They were were going to have it go to that blonde guy with the cute eyes. Yeah. They wanted... um, They wanted him to inherit My goodness. The guy guy that could... Mirio. Thank you. I I don't know the names very well, but I've seen Or Lemillion or whatever. Yeah, he wanted him to be All Might's successor, and it makes no sense if... You know, because he has a quirk already. Right. He can, like, jump through objects. But then young Midoriya came, and he was way more brave and hero-like. He, he, um, yeah, Midoriya is extremely brave. He's extremely kind-hearted. He's ex- he uh, is, like, perseverance personified. Um, if you... it just uh, To me, that just ruins his entire character and what makes him so relatable, especially in the first season. All right. So, but I like the theory, though. I'm not shitting on that. I, think I, don't have I think it's a lot to ponder. I don't have any actual concrete evidence as much as I just think it's a cool idea, so I'm actually going to say no to that. I'm going to say nay, but I think it's really cool, and I think if... Well, I think if it was... I think if it was fleshed out even more that he vaguely could have had um, quirk-stealing abilities. Or, like, something just very dormant. You know. No, I, I think All Might would have been able to sense that. All right. I abstain because I, once again, limited knowledge. Mm-hmm. Didn't watch it eh, at this rate. Be like you really that. should. I, I it seems like you, something you would you love. You would really enjoy it. It would make you very happy. It, it would make your like soul right sing. Up, yeah, it sounds right up my alley. It really is. I need to get off my ass and actually watch it. You really it. do. It's like anime Marvel. Once you hit that main That's su- like, uh, superhero tournament, it's all down to Oh, who doesn't love a good tournament? Oh, it's so good. But anyways. The who- movies are good, too. Actually, I haven't seen the movies. Oh, yeah, no, they're, also, they're on Hulu sometimes. Would you all rather hear a One Piece theory or another Naruto theory? Naruto. Do you all have right. any Death Note theories? Uh, I have one that I'll do after this Naruto theory. Cool. Oh, Death Note's my fave. Uh, Naruto learned to use the sexy jutsu in an attempt to see what his mother would have looked like. I've heard that one, and... You know, there really isn't any way to prove or disprove it. No. It's just like kind of speculation on the character. Yeah, but Naruto actually has a reason for developing it, though. I don't... It's, well, it's actually explained partially. The, the explanation that, like, at least you would originally get is that, like, it's just like him trying to be funny and acting up. Yeah. Because he's the lonely kid who doesn't get a lot of attention. But at the same time, it's like, if you are a lonely kid who doesn't get a lot of attention, I could easily see someone having the train of thought of, oh, that's your mother. It looks like you. I never knew my mother. I'm sure she must look like me, but older and female. I actually really like Naruto with red hair, though. Because his mom is red. Is a red that's true. Hair. I actually really... So, I don't... I'm going to say yay just for the fun of it. I don't know. I don't have enough evidence. Say yay or nay. So I'm gonna abstain. Jess? I have no opinion. Alright, well, on to Death Note then. Ooh, yes. yes. At the end, Light becomes a Shina- Shinigami or a Death God. Uh, I think that would be too much of a treat for Light. I, I j- but it does state that after using a Death Note, you can neither go to heaven nor hell. So hmm. what happens to you then? Purgatory, I, I was, was, was my first thought. Yeah, but where is, like, I don't know. I mean, Purgatory's in between heaven and hell. I well, know, and I like, have only seen parts of Death Note. I haven't seen the series all the way through. I have. It seems like it it's kind of where the character's going anyways. I mean, I would love to think that, but I guess it just depends on what you think Light deserves. Yeah. I mean, like, honestly, I, yeah. I'd love for that to be the case. I really would, but Light oh. does not fucking deserve it. Oh, that. I don't want Light to be a Shinigami. I still say yay, just because I'm thinking, like, good for Light. Mm, I say nay. It's too much. It's too nice. No, Light it's too deserves, nice. It, it's too Light nice. Light deserves all the hell that he's going to get in Purgatory. All right. I have one more theory, and it ties back to Attack on Titan. Yes. This one I actually had to do a lot of scientific research on. Okay. Titans 
are made of yeast. I heard this. I heard this. I had to watch a MatPat video. Ah, that's where I heard it from. I wasn't going to fucking Why? say it. Why? Why okay. are they made of yeast? Their bodies are very light. Are they? Yeah. Yes. You, uh, Hanji kicked the head and it felt like kicking a soccer ball. Matter- Hanji's the girl with the glasses, right? She's the scientist. Oh, yes. I love her so much. Oh, she's, she's great. She's probably like my third favorite character. Or we second. didn't talk about her. No. no. They, we they, didn't talk about her, but Hanji her. is just like a very like she's a fun, spirited, maniacal. maniacal, evil scientist. But she's not evil. She's a very kind-hearted, strong woman. But she's also maniacal and nuts, which is why I love her. There's many facets to her. I love mm-hmm. this. I didn't uh, know her name, though. I just call her Glasses Lady. It's a substance that's known to have matter increase. Okay. They need to get big. Okay. Uh, they exert an exothermic reaction and put out CO2 gas, which, like you talked about with the big Rod Rice Titan, he was yeah. so hot that trees would just start burning around him. And anytime he sliced into a Titan, they like, gas out. Uh, they draw energy from sunlight. <laughs> Yo, I agree with this. They've got to be yeast, right? The scientific titan, properties titans, line up. If titans existed in the real world, they'd just be yeast babies running around. Yeast babies, yeah. But that's Dude, the thing. Like, yeast infections. That's that's not what the show should have been called. <laughs> titans are just giant yeast infections, guys. You heard it here first. <laughs> and it's like I I kind of just like had to do more research because I didn't know much about yeast other wow, than baking. what a wonderful theory. To, I love that. Yeah, they're yeast. I'm down for this. Yeah, there's <laughs> like a, not, a lot of natural forms of yeast. And but also, humans have yeast on their bodies. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeast is just microbiology that happens and does things. This is why I had to do research because when I explain it, I sound like a fucking, like, goof. Well, no, when well, you first said it to me, I was like, eh, maybe whatever. But now I'm all on board. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. Titans are yeast, guys. They're giant yeast infections on the planet Earth. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I love the. I love the retitle of Attack on Yeast Infection. Can you please make that our title? Uh, I don't. I don't know how many people are gonna click on that. I would. <laughs> Attack on the giant yeast infection. Omni Gear, get me some Vagisil. Vagisil, sponsor us. No, we, <laughs> no, we need Astroglide first. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't put an Astroglide pun. What's, uh, the, what's uh, the giant um, titan that smushed his face in the ground? Yeah, if he had some Astroglide, he would have been able to <laughs> slip onto that right town. Right Wait, onto the main city. He, he would have destroyed that face. He would have <laughs> slipped onto the town, not destroyed his face. If only he had some Astroglide. Astroglide, we're on the mission to get you less friction. Astroglide. <laughs> Please sponsor yes. us. I swear to God. I, I, I swear. And in fact, once we hit about episode 30, I'm just going to start riding to Astro Glide every day. Oh, we, should, I, we should do that now. I'm going to start once a week. Like, I have actually just... been to the Astro Glide website and on the bottom it says, contact us. And I'm just like, I just want to start by saying, dear Astro Glide, we are but a humble podcast. Astro Glide. Astro Glide. Oh Reach out to 10 people. And wear a condom. And wear a condom. And co- cover it with Astroglide. Anyone else got any uh, fun pieces of advice for the people? Well, if you, if you need to lube up this winter, <laughs> Astroglide is your best friend. Oh, my God. Yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> is, is, that a, is that a drawer getting too stuck all the time? Yeah. <laughs> Astroglide, maybe. I don't know. Uh, insert yourself into the holiday spirit with Astroglide. Seasonal depression penetrating your thoughts. <laughs> Astroglide. Wait. Rose is mortified right now. Use it in the morning, use it at night, use it on the go. Astroglide. I love you too. You know what I love? What? Astroglide. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I've actually never used it. You know, that could change um, if I got sent some Astroglide by Astroglide. Anything else we want to add to tonight's podcast, guys? Uh, please watch Attack on Titan. I he, swear yeah, to God. Yeah, dear God. Like, It'll change your life. Like, seriously, up until the end of uh, the beginning of season three, like, I think it was fair for a lot of people to sit out on it. Like, just because it, it's, there's so much hype on certain animes all the time. Mm-hmm. But, like, this one is really good, guys. And like I said, it's like the Game of Thrones of animes. 
but I don't think we're going to be let down by a shitty end season. Well, I'll see. We could. Anything though. can happen. We'll I'll talk see. about we'll it. We'll see. I won't. No, you won't. You'll no. just have to hear us complain about it. Yes, or yes, rejoice. Or I swear rejoice. to God, if they fucking kill Levi, there isn't enough astroglide on the planet <laughs> <laughs> to put that man back together. <laughs> Oh my god, rage. it's only making him slippier. Yeah. <laughs> no, she is. Every oh also, I hope everybody has a happy new year. Oh, Never yeah. Yeah. say that once. <laughs> new Year's Eve happened. I hope everyone has a happy new year. Um, I hope all you fucks who haven't been at the gym until like a day ago <laughs> clear the fuck out because it's really ruining my time. Yep. <laughs> and that's it. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Kwanzaa. I don't know. <laughs>